Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome to Mindblock. Mindblock is the series that's all about what's going on in your head as you build, and we're going to try to fill and create it with some interesting ideas for when you start constructing. Now today, we're going to be talking about stations. Now in my mind, stations are one of the hardest things to build. Since it's a static object, it needs some sort of purpose, but at the same time, it's going to need a lot of features that are going to aid you both on your survival, and at the same time, look very visually pleasing. Now, one of the easiest things that I find to do when building a station is segregate it into different sorts of sections. For instance, we've got a yellow utility cargo collection point here. Over here, we have the green resource processing area that is filled with beautiful refineries and so on to process all the raw materials and get them processing. So if we fly through here, we can see. And we've also got a number of corridors that are linking that up. Now, the two other areas that I like to build are hangars. So we've got a small hangar system there and we've got a much larger one over there that I'll show you a little bit more and we've also got a command center that's located in the center of the base so that's going to be able to control all the pistons, all the doors, all them exciting little features. Now I've cut away this little door so we can actually see inside and you can see we've got a large ship parked in there and we've also got a smaller ship hangar on top and the idea for this sort of station was just to build something big that was useful, I could store all my ships in, I could process my resources at the same time. But in a survival sort of sense, this is going to be a very time consuming process. Now down here we've got some fighter bays for the smaller sort of MI24 gunships. But let's have a look at another station that I've built and try to fill our minds with a few more ideas. Now we're taking a look at the second station that I ever built. Now this station had a particular purpose and that was to build torpedoes for this ship. So when I was testing it out, I could quickly remake and reload torpedoes. And in these other areas, we've got crew compartments, we've got another smaller hangar for mining. We also have a mining processing station up at the top over there. And the idea was just a quick and simple station to get them torpedoes built for my ship. Now, one of the quick ideas that I wanted to show you that I started to introduce in this early stage was both the control tower and also the sort of ribbon construction on the station itself. Now, this is a really nice way of adding some detail to your station rather than just having a flat panel, adding these little ribs, rib by rib, space them out equally, and you can have a really nice sort of bit of detail added to the design. You'll see how I influence this a little bit better in some of the later stations that I build. Anyway, let's have a look at another station to get some more ideas. Now, the next station we're actually going to take a look at is something that, that I call the armory. And the first question you're probably wondering going, Aaron, are they chimneys? They are totally useless. You do not need chimneys in space. Well, this is the point I want to get onto. Functionality versus style. And it's something that, that don't go hand in hand. You don't have to sacrifice one for the other. You can have a ship that's probably midway, but still you don't have some functionality sacrificed and you don't have some style sacrificed for a very sort of useful design. Now, I've added these chimneys in just for the looks to add a little bit more detail to the station itself. And remember, at the time, the conveyor tubes didn't exist, so I've actually added these little pipe sort of colored tubes in just to represent different things to get that sort of gas looks, industrial building feel. Otherwise, it'd be these little square buildings and it just wouldn't have next much excitement. Now, on the ribbon for this station, I've actually added the ribbon to the corners. You can see we've got two distinct sort of panels that come out on every building. And that's just replicated across the station to have uh, some sort of un uniformity. But it's just an interesting concept and it's something you really have to think about. Are you going to go for a very stylish looking design or are you going to go for a purely functional design? I'm going to leave that up to you. Let's have a look at the final station. So the final station that we're actually going to look at is something that I call Habitat 6. And this is one of my latest designs and it's the idea of building these modular interchangeable pods that can be placed down on some very basic foundations and I started to think really functional with this station so the idea is that we construct the foundations for these pods a large ship comes in drops the pods locks them into place with merge blocks and you've instantly got a station to work from so this is the refinery module we'll actually take a trip inside this one we'll drop down and here we go we'll just have a look through this door so this is the refinery module very simple we've got four large containers and we have the refinery there so once it's dropped off the supplies can actually get to work straight away now we've also got the hangar modules that i'll show you and we've also got the drop off pads the quick deploy pads so you land your ship onto here takes in your supplies into the refinery unit and then so on it takes the supplies to the hangar modules where they can actually be shipped out to the station or they can be used to build and construct around this place now i'm working on another two modules that are going to go there i think they're going to be some more sort of private military 
sort of modules themselves that hold more military based fighters and so on. Now we've also got the ramps here, so the idea is the ramps are going to fly open, I'll quickly show you, and really slow at the moment because I'm still working on the construction, and the ramp inside comes up like so, the ship lands on that ramp inside, then we reverse the process like so, and we shut the door, so we've got a nice safe place to store them during maybe an asteroid storm, or just coming under attack from maybe pirates who are going to try to steal our resources from the base, just a new sort of futuristic idea. Now, as you can see, I've done the ribbon particularly just to feature for if they get knocked about, they're getting hit by asteroids, getting shot at, so we've got that extra layer of protection, or if they simply just dropped quite hardly by the dropship that's going to actually put these modules into position. Anyway, I've hoped I've given you some ideas for constructing some stations today, and that is Mind Block. I'll see you next time.